The following is an excerpt from the Sax Tuition Beginner Series. If you want to pick up the entire course for yourself, just follow the link in the description down below. Enjoy. Okay, let's move on to the next technique in this lesson. This one's called vibrato. Now, for those of you who aren't sure what vibrato is, allow me to demonstrate. Here is a standard B. And here is a B with vibrato. So with vibrato, we're adding a vibration, a short uh, sort of waviness to the note that generally enriches it and gives it some more character. Now, technically speaking, what we're doing is just subtly moving the note a little sharper and flatter at a controlled rate that still emphasizes the actual pitch. So how do we achieve that effect on the saxophone? Well, the easiest way I've been taught and always pass on to my students is just by using a very subtle jaw movement to change the amount of pressure on the reed, which will affect the intonation slightly. And we can actually practice that technique with the metronome. If we select a nice comfortable tempo on here, set up the click, we can try doing this. So as you get comfortable with that, you can work up the tempo so you get more of a rapid alteration. So even though that exercise is a little unmusical, the metronome forces us to control the vibrato so we develop the skills necessary to insert it into a musical context. And when it does come time to actually apply the technique in a musical context, you'll have to be very careful. Use it sparingly. Generally speaking, you want to add it only to notes with a longer duration and you want to give the note a brief moment to center itself before you start the vibrato. The reason you do this is so that the center of the note, the actual pitch, is clear. So if you add it straight away or make your vibrato too uncontrolled, it becomes too ambiguous and overbearing. Now, let me demonstrate the right way of doing it. So you just get a taste of the vibrato in the note to add some interest and depth to the sound, but it's not added so heavily that it takes away from the musical phrase. Try practicing that vibrato exercise this week, and I'm sure you'll also find some places to test out your vibrato during the pieces in this lesson.